<laughs> you hear that? That is my new friend, the Fujitsu bear, and he obviously has a mind of his own. Right? Right? <laughs> Meet the Fujitsu bear, an interactive robot that can perform more than 300 different reactions such as waving, sneezing, <laughs> laughing, and even crying. Making its first appearance in Singapore, the bear is designed to engage children and the elderly. Under its furry look are 12 actuators and 13 sensors that allow the bear to sense human touch and react to movement and facial expressions. A camera allows it to see and microphones and speakers let it speak and listen. When we wave our hands to him, uh -huh. he can capture our behavior and soon... Oh, he's wave waving as well? Yeah, as well. And also, the, he has a touching sensor around his body, so when we touch, he sometimes get happy, but sometimes he get angry. Is there anything you can do to make him angry? Yeah, when, when, for example, when we touch him too strongly or oh. holding ear, yeah, sometimes he get angry, but it's all up to him. <laughs> and when he gets angry, how does he react? Mm, just moving like this. Does yeah. he say anything? Yeah, sometimes he say, don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a little bit nervous, I think. Uh, he get angry. Okay, now he's angry. Yeah. <laughs> don't touch my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Does he only speak in English or it can speak in other yeah, languages? Yeah, he, he speaks English, but his brother speaks Japanese. Japanese, yeah. okay. So he has camera on his nose, so capture human face. And now he's looking at him, so he will start uh, imitate his behavior soon, like waving hands uh, and tilting hands. Yeah, now he's imitating his behavior. Uh, sometimes he sneezes. Sometimes he sneezes. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna sneeze? No, no, no. Start crying, I think. Oh really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's crying. It's a very emotional toy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> The Fujitsu Bear was on display at Fujitsu Day held at Raffle City Convention Center and it was a hit with the visitors. But why a teddy bear? Three Dalan team thought of dogs and cats, but uh, teddy bear is very uh, familiar with us as a yeah, very cute doll. So uh, he, they believe that teddy bear shaped robot uh, will achieve a very interactive and friendly communication with the human. Midori said there are plans for the bear to help in areas such as elderly and childcare in the future. Firstly, we plan to put this robot in the nursing center and also the school to take care of children also. How can a robot like that help uh, the elderly in the nursing center? Uh, actually, we had some operational tests in Japan and actually the elder people became happy when they touch and contact with him. So how does it help kids uh, in education? Uh, for example, he can imitate human behavior, so for example, uh, their exercise, he can help children doing exercise, for example. Yeah. The Fujitsu bear is still just a proof of concept and is not for sale.